Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's talk about the problem gas station. All right, here's the problem setup. We're given n gas stations in total, which lie along a circular route. Each of them has A of I amount of gas present. And to travel from station I to station I plus one, there is some cost associated with it, which is given by the B of I. So one quick thing to note is that A of I and B of I are two elements from the arrays A and B, both of the size n. All right. The goal of this problem is to find the earliest station in terms of the indices from where we can travel around the entire circuit. So basically you start from a particular index I, which is the lowest possible index. And that index is such that you can start from I and you can make a journey and go back to I. Right. And we have to return minus one if it's not possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Assume this is an example given in the question itself. And the answer to this example is the index four. All right. So index four is an index from where you can go ahead and do an entire circular route and come back at index four. Let's try to verify this and we'll work around with the problem setup so that we understand what's going on better. All right. So when we're at the station four, when we start at the station four, we have gas seven and cost one. What does that mean? That means that at station four, we start from an empty tank and we go ahead and fill in seven units of gas. All right. And now cost one says that to travel from station four to station zero, remember this is a circular route, to travel from station four to station zero is going to take one unit of cost, right? So it's going to take one amount of gas from it, which means that the current amount of gas we have still remaining is going to be six. So we have, we are starting from the station four and once we reach the station zero, we still have six units of gas remaining. So when we reach the station zero, what we'll do is we'll fill up the tank with three units of gas again. So that brings us to nine units. And then we have to spend four more units of gas again to travel to the next station. So we had six plus three minus four total amount of gas now, which gives us five, right? So at station zero, we have five units of gas in our tank. All right, what happens when we go to station one? We'll do five plus five minus two. Five is the current amount of tank we have. Five is the amount of gas we get on the next station and we have to subtract two as the cost. So five plus five minus two gives us eight. Similarly, what happens when we go to the station number two? We do eight plus two minus one giving us nine. And then what about station three? We do nine plus one minus nine giving us one. What next? Well, now we can go back to the station four. This is the station we started off from and we went ahead and we did a complete circular loop and we reached back at the same station. Station four is the lowest possible station that we could have started from that resulted in a circular route. So four is the final answer for this test case. Now, how do we think about the solution? Well, the brute force solution says that for every single index, you know, iterate over the array, go for every single index and for every single index, run a simulation. Right, so that simulation is going to take order of n time as we just saw, and we have to do this for every single index. That means that we are looking at a total of order of n square amount of time, and perhaps order of one space because we don't really store anything than a current variable. Right, so we need to think about an optimization. Now, before we jump into the optimization, which by the way is going to be super simple, I have to mention one trick which I learned before. This trick has helped me out a lot in questions where there is like a circular route or whenever we have to go in a circular direction. And that trick is to simply take this array and copy paste it. All right. So what I've done is I've copied the array, the first part of the array, first half of the array right now is the initial thing. And the second half is just a copy paste of it. All right. And I've also mentioned the original indices on the top of them. So the index five is actually the index zero. Now, how does this help us? Well, think about it this way, because we're going on, on a circular route. If we start from the index zero, we want to end at the index zero again, but because circular things are a bit more complicated to take care of, what we've simply done is we have expanded that out. And so now we are going to say, when you start from index zero, go ahead and figure out if you can end at index five instead. If you start from index one, see if you can end at index six, because index six is nothing but and index one. Similarly, if you go to index four, we just want to ensure that you end at index nine because nine acts as four. So all I've done is simply taken the initial array, doubled it. So in a way we have avoided the circular thingy problem. This makes the solution a lot simpler 
because the only thing we have left to do now is to iterate over that and that is it all right let me walk you through the solution it'll make a lot more sense so let's go ahead and say that uh, zero is the starting index zero is the station i'm going to assume which is going to lead me to the station number five all right i'm going to assume that so let's go ahead and mark this this is our starting index now this is our starting index we start off with the empty gas tank what do we do we fill in three units of gas and the cost is well the cost is four which means that the current is uh, minus one well that is not so good we have three units of gas with us and to go to the next station we require four which means that we don't have enough gas to go to the next station here's a if condition for you we'll ask the question hey is the current lesser than zero because as soon as the current becomes lesser than zero let's go ahead and make a full reset let's go ahead and set that you know what this station will not work out for us this question this station is uh, is going to give us a negative value we, we don't want that so we are going to say that if the station is going to give you a negative value just set the current to zero let's just go ahead and restart everything from scratch and so in this case i'm going to go ahead and initialize and i'm going to reset the start to i plus one so we simply move on to the index one as the starting position as you can see by the yellow circle moving now at the index one now at the station one we again ask the same questions we start off with an empty gas tank the current is zero as you can see from the if condition previously we start off with an empty gas tank and now we fill five units of gas go to the next station we require two so the remaining is three pretty simple so now we have three units of gas remaining that is we have three extra units of gas and now we can go to the next station with three more units of gas than we had previously so three plus two now becomes uh, five which means that once i reach the next station i'm going to fill in two units of gas which brings me up to five units then i'm going to spend one unit of gas so it brings me down to a total of four units of gas all right pretty simple still greater than zero which means that i can uh, i still have four units of gas surplus i have these extra four units of gas just lying around just in case so now i'm going to go ahead and go to the index three so as soon as i go to index three i see that uh, i have four units of gas i fill it with one bringing me to a total of five now i have five units of gas and the cost to go to the next station is nine which means that the current comes out to minus four because five minus nine is minus four which means that this will not work out either we assume that the starting index of one will work out for us but it did not work out for us so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and reset the start to i plus one right we're going to reset everything we're going to say you know what screw the index one screw the index zero both of them that did not work out let's just go ahead and restart all of our computations from the index four so we'll restart the current to zero and set the start to i plus one so we start off from four now at this point i want you to pause the video and uh, figure out something missing figure out something that is going wrong all of my explanation up till now has been correct but there is one assumption that is wrong well at least that should look wrong to you that's the assumption over here look at this earlier we considered the index zero then we considered the index one as the starting position and we jumped to index four directly we never even considered two and three so now the question is well why don't we want to consider the indexes two and three what's wrong with them why not consider both of them right and so this is where the optimization comes into play this is the most important part right we we don't want to go back otherwise it'll just become like we're going to start from every single index and that'll become n square and that's pain but because we have this logic of starting from uh, start equals to i plus one we were able to jump a couple of indices now again this begs the question hey why not consider two and three here's the thing here's the very very important things is my new detail which matters a lot look at the if condition on the left hand side the if condition says that if current is less than zero then go ahead and make a restart in other words i can say that car only passes a station when the current is greater than equals to zero what this also means is that as it passes through more and more stations it keeps on collecting more and more fuel that is in a one particular station it is going to collect at least zero amounts of fuel if not more so it might be some positive amount of fuel is going to accumulate every single station it passes through and if it does not pass through well it goes to the if condition and gets resetted so now we know that car only passes when 
current greater than or equals to zero and it's going to accumulate more and more fuel which means that starting from one did not give me an answer right starting from one gave us a negative value of four but if you start from two you'll get even a much more worse value in fact go ahead and try this out yourself if you start off from two you'll get gas two cost one giving you a current of one which is already lesser than the current of four and now you have one of current you add it with the gas of one and remove cost nine basically now giving you minus seven so if you start off from two you are going to end up much worse you're going to end up with a current value of negative seven although it does not mean anything different but it's just extra computation starting from one was the best possible option because it was the earliest we could have started and we could have collected a lot more fuel if we started off from one instead of two but hey even one did not work out so how in the world will two work out all right i think that's enough explanation for why we do start equals to i plus one and uh, so let's go ahead and do the computation we start from the index four we start from the station four now and we have gas seven cost one what does that mean? We do plus seven minus one, giving us six. Now we'll go on to the next index with the uh, capacity of, well, of course the tank capacity is infinite, but now we have the current as six and we're going to add it to the gas and remove the cost from it. So we'll do six plus three minus four. Notice one more thing that we're doing. Remember that we copy pasted the array ones, right? If you can see the indices five, six, seven, eight are nothing but a copy of one, zero, one, two, three, four. And of course, you can compare the gas and the cost values as well. Now, all the reason why we did that was so that we could simply iterate over it and get our life, get our job done, make life easy. And it is going to make our life easy because now we're simply going to continue with the same logic. We're still going to keep that if condition in mind and we're going to continue forward. All right. So now we are at the index five, we are at the station five, which is nothing but the station zero. And currently we have five units of gas. What happens when you go to the next one? We do five plus five minus two, giving us eight. Then we do eight plus two minus one, giving us nine. Then we do nine plus one minus nine, giving us one. And finally, we'll do one plus seven. Oh, wait, as soon as we go to the next station, I want you to realize something. Look at that. We have reached the station number four. And look at the station that was marked earlier. The number station four was marked earlier, which means that we have gone through an entire loop. Again, the station number looks like it's nine, but it's actually four behind the scenes, right? So now we are again at the index four. We are again at the station four. What does that mean? What does that mean? Was the initial question was the question was find the initial index, which will find the earliest index such that you can go and loop around once. And so we have found that index. And so what we can do is we can say if i equals to equals to start plus n, n is the length of the array, which is five in this case. So if nine equals to equals to four plus five, go ahead and return four. Perfect, right? As you can recall, the earlier answer was four as well. And the current answer we're going to return is also four. Pretty amazing, right? We did nothing special, just two if statements. I promise you that is literally it. This, these two conditions and a looping over all these values. That is it. Nothing complicated, no special proofs or mathematic or arithmetic you need to worry about. All right, let's go ahead and code this up now. So what we'll do is figure out N, the, which is the length of A, basically saying that these are the number of gas stations with us. We're going to start the current and the starting both from zero. As I mentioned, we're going to assume the start as zero. This is our starting position. Assuming that this start will give us the answer at the end. We also have current, which is going to keep a track of the current value of the gas tank. Now we are going to iterate for I and G comma C in uh, A star to B star to. Okay. Uh, just a quick aside. What this means is simply that I'm going to take this array A and I'm going to copy paste it once again. So A is nothing but twice of A. It's just A plus A, right? It's the same as A plus A. All right. Sorry. And then we do uh, B plus B or B times two. Same thing. We'll zip both of them. A is nothing but the gas and B is nothing but the cost. And now we're going to enumerate over that. So as I mentioned, the first if condition is saying that, you know what, if the current index I is equal to equals to start plus N, basically you've seen this station before. This station is a loop of the previous start that you've seen. If that is the case, look at the condition over here. If that is the case, I've just copy pasted it, return start. 
again simple very very simple okay nothing special we're doing it's just simple stuff all right and then we'll go to this statement which says current plus equals to g minus a so what it says is whatever the previous current was now you add it with a certain amount of value of gas right i'm going to say uh this is current plus g minus c all right very simple i'm going to take the previous value in my gas uh in my gas tank add some additional gas g and remove some cost of moving to the next station and then we'll move on to this if condition over here as i already so mentioned again simple copy paste if current is less than zero that is if we have not enough gas to move to the next station well that means that we have to reset the current so the current becomes zero and we have to set the start as i plus one basically we'll say everything including i and everything before i and including i is all useless for us let's just reset the start to i plus one all right so if you notice we are returning the start over here now if you can find an answer you'll be able to return it over here but in case you do not find any such answer in case there is no such possible case where you can take an index and loop around the circuit once and reach by the same index, well, then you unfortunately have to return minus one, saying that, you know what, I reached the end of this for loop, which means that there is no way there's any such possible index. All right, enough speaking, let me go ahead and actually show you and test this out. All right, cool, this works out, and we'll go ahead and submit this. And there we go, our answer is correct. All right, so this is it for the solution to the problem gas station. These visualizations take me a lot of time to make and uh, if you appreciate them, if you appreciate the high quality of my visuals, explanations and the solution, let me know in the comment section down below and give this video a thumbs up. Anyways, this is it for this video solution and as always, thank you so much for watching.